Welcome back guys, Dr. Crypto here, um, bringing you guys another quick video here, and um, we're going to just be showing you another um, great train race, uh, but this time I'm going to give you a couple of pointers actually, like tips and tricks to give you the most um, points, um, personal points here, and uh, you're going to, I mean, I recommend to, to always participate in, in every great train race you can, just because you do get these um over time you you participate in them you get these points here and then you just get free chests basically and and um and over time you know you do you get some pretty good really good um like resources uh chests um and uh, honestly they're really good I, I find them to be uh i find this uh great train race event to be fun and again um rewarding at the same time uh for your uh for your um uh like that uh, you get these uh chests right here for your time basically you get 10 uh you get these you could choose your reward 10k and they become very useful at times because right now actually let me just um show you guys i could just put 50 and um since i'm low in and food i just that's how quick it is to get food like that so i do recommend to participate in these events just because of those chests um yeah and i'll show you guys how to get the most out of the most points so you don't have to always participate in um you always don't always have to participate in the um the same event like i mean you, you could but there's a certain like after you uh, make certain points uh, i believe there's like a 30k uh a limit per day so once you reach that definitely don't play no more because you won't be get, getting any um, points um, but usually um, you don't have to um, beat this early but I, I'm usually I, I just like being this early just so I could um, I don't know just so I could just be in here um, and just know that once you enter you can't return to base so um, I don't know if you guys saw I forgot to point that out um, before but uh oh actually the battle's gonna start so definitely um once the battle starts um you're gonna want to escort your best troops and honestly usually the recommendation is there but you could choose you could pick and choose which recommendation you would like but what other people do not do here is um move your troops i i move my troops in the front in the front right here so i could get a head start to these guys and therefore, I could actually, here, let me try to, um, just gotta, uh, try to tap one and attack him with my troops from the back. Look at that. That I already got 14 points like that. That's what you gotta, that's what you guys gotta do. And that's how you get these guys from the back instead of, um, instead of always being in the front of the, on the front. And, and then, um, you will always, I mean, even though you'll be hitting from the back from them, you will still be able to do pretty good damage to that one individual and then you will consistent consistently be doing damage. Um, but the one thing about doing this is that you always have to press keep pressing the attack button. Um, but I I don't mind just because you gotta be um gotta be on this, you know. Uh it, it, that's how you get the most points out of this. Uh most people just put escort and then ju just watch. Um you could do that, that's one way of doing it. You do get um points like that. But uh, what I recommend is to just keep attacking individually. Um, even though you have, you see my troops are like, um, every single time I keep attacking, my troops keep decreasing. Um, that's just because every um, battle, you know, uh, troops do um, go lower. But once they hit zero, you are going to see here. Um, I just keep getting the victories, even though my troops keep getting low, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I just keep attacking here. Um, keep attacking. And, um, okay, and then, okay, so there we go. You see the how the screen went blank like that, darkened? That means my troops were all defeated, and now they're ready to go to battle. So, now, now when I recommend, oh, wait, what's going on here? What, what's going on? Okay, uh, I have to, um, they have to go back. <laughs> okay, so what I recommend when, now when it's in the, um, in the in the in the like when it stands still, you have to. I would recommend to just keep it escorting right there. 
Um, you could you could keep attacking, but um, you also gotta keep switching it forward, I right, guess. So you want to keep escorting and attacking at the same time, basically. But when it's standing still, I recommend you should be escorting. Just pressing the train and press escort, and then um, you should be you should be good like that. Um, so yeah. Um, let me see any other tips I can give escorting the train because this is the first half and um the second half is gonna be the the second train um where we have to attack the train right now we're protecting the train in um in terms of they're attacking us so we have to protect it and um while protecting it I do I do I have noticed that while escorting it I mean um I have noticed that you do get less points escorting it than attacking it um but i don't know that's just my opinion uh maybe um you get maybe i could be able to show you guys the difference because um it is kind of severe so i don't know if you guys saw but my troops were defeated but now they're ready for battle so let me just press the escort button or in, uh actually i'm here let me see um let me see let me attack um let me just attack some random people here let's press attack and just send our troops over there and then that's that's how you get extra um points like that um, so, yeah, keep in mind also, in addition to those, um, chests that you get, these chests, um, by, in addition to get, getting these chests, um, for getting points, basically, um, you also get these, um, quest rewards just by completing the, um, by protecting the ally train and then the next event is going to be attacking the train. So that's, that's pretty nice. So you get these, um, you get the basic arena ticket. Which is honestly, a re uh, I just recommend. Anytime you could get one in game, just go for it. It's uh, I recommend it. And as you can see here, we're going to above a K here, close to a K of points here. Um. So yeah, let's um. Let's see here. Let's just keep escorting it here. Now this is the time where usually, um. Like the, um, they just gain up on the the train and it's quite normal if your train your durability drops to um 15 10 percent um lows i've seen drop once with that five percent um but it, it won't i don't believe it'll hit zero i haven't seen it hit zero yet but um um don't worry it's just this is just an event there will always be another one i believe it's every four hours um the time i remember it used to be like every hour but they changed that um over time um they changed that to every four hours i believe or somewhere along that those times i believe it's twice like around uh six in the morning uh um but i'm not sure yeah i'm not sure but anyways let's just keep escorting this um my troops here and there is a minute left to this and keep in mind this 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 event does take a while to be honest. Um like it it does take a while to complete. So um over time it does become a nuisance. But I do still recommend to do it nonetheless. So you know, if you just switch it up like around um when you're escorting in them or just um when you're escorting the train, just switch it around, attacking, escorting. I don't know. That, I, I've just noticed that that gives you extra points. Um, as you can see there. I'm just, I just get some points out of nowhere. Okay, so this half ends very soon. And then we're going to switch to the attack right now. All right, guys. okay there we go as you can see this is the, the thing i was the, the thing i was talking about there's a limit to the today's points you earned so today i earned four thousand points right now um today um in the game points i earned were, were, were that much but the limit i'm, I'm able to earn is thirty thousand so just keep that in mind. keep that in mind that after you complete thirty thousand you won't be able to uh, get any more points until the day is over so yeah 
All right, and there we go. I got a, a title upgrade. Let's go. Okay, so this have ends. Okay, now now we have to attack. You, you notice that we have to attack here. So yeah, um, thing I also recommend here is definitely definitely just attack um, either the train or any individual you would like. I've noticed that the two give you points no matter what you do. And see, this is the, the chest I was talking about. Let's see, let's see what we get today. Okay, so see, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I could use some of those. Um, five is not bad. Five is not bad. Um, definitely the beginning ones are the more lesser of value, but the further you go, the greater value they are. They become. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, so, okay, there we go. Okay, I'm attacking a lot of them. Definitely, I've noticed that, um, in my opinion, when I'm attacking, I get so much more um, points attacking than anything else. Uh, so, it's insane. Uh, maybe it's because I am high level, but um, that probably has something to do with it. But keep that in note. If you have an M NFT fighter and upgrade him, you will, this will become a lot easier for you to get these points um, and chess overall. And it's just easier to play the game if you have an NFT fighter. So I do recommend it to get one. I have noticed you guys have been getting them. I have noticed um, the the floor price increasing. You guys have been getting them at a, at a good price. Um, just, just earlier today, actually, I was planning on getting one. But um, I don't know who got it. Um, well, <laughs> that lucky fellow. I was trying to add another one to my collection, but um, no matter. I, um, you always just gotta be patient with these, um, with these um, NFT prices. Uh, yeah. Um, so, off topic there, but let's just keep attacking here. Um, as you can see, I almost got already like double the points, or close to the same amount of points I've had at the ending of the last half. So definitely attacking, you get a lot more points if you just keep attacking um, the train and individually anybody you see here. Okay, so that's kind of the gist of it all. Um, like there's there's just um, after the train stops, you know, there's there's not much to it. You just keep attacking uh, for the four minutes. You do have to say um. Um, logged in here and you can go back to the RMB base until the event is over but just keep in mind guys you're getting a good reward and a, an arena ticket you know the items for NFT fighters I'm there I am there okay all right guys it, this is mean for NFT fighters like basically um, that's how you get your legendary upgrade potions um, NFT fighters I definitely need those just because I have a lot of NFT fighters and um, they're just so much I need to upgrade. And that, that's what keeps me motivated to keep playing the game. Um, it, it keeps me engaged and interacted. And that's what I like so much about this game. They have so many events, um, like additives to the game, to where it makes it fun and, and playable every day. And I mean, right, as of right now, um, it, it, it is considered a play to earn. But um, we haven't really seen much um, profits per se playing the game. But, um, you know, it is still early on. Um, we still got to uh, be patient here. Be patient with buy-ins. Um, they're still trying to, uh, you know, get everything together, get in the fix. They just released their peel token, um, which actually went pretty high in value um, quite recently. Um, as well as the shell token. Uh, in game the the one that you get passive income for the nft fighters that also went up in value um quite recently to the to the new notice to the partnership of pancake swap and to the the idea of um having the the gas fee of peel in the ape chain network now so that would definitely um save less um save more uh people to uh, or encourage people to save more shell tokens um, thus increasing the value of the shell token 
benefiting all NFT holders and show token holders. Um, and oh my god, as you can see, I I I am doing crazy in this run. Okay, you just gotta keep attacking. You just you gotta keep engaged. You gotta keep being engaged. All right, guys. You can't just attack once and just leave your troops there. And then after they make sure make sure you see defeated. You saw that. Make sure you send them back into battle immediately, so you can get the most amount of uh points you can get. That's how. That's my number one tip. Always. Always keep attacking. Never let your troops just stand there. That is the number one. Um, people don't engage and interact. They get bored or something, and they just like they think they just press attack and then leave the game or something like that. But you gotta keep engaging. I already received. I'm already in the second one just by just by. I already received another ten of those uh, chests just because I just kept attacking and just being engaged into the into the game and all. And that's basically um mostly it, guys. Like, uh, um, that's all you have to do in order to get this free upgrades, basically. And I've gotten a lot of free upgrades, so, um, yeah, just keep uh keep keep an eye out for every time these events keep uh happening. Cause I remember the that co the baby cosmos event. That event was really good. Like, if if you were able to obtain a baby cosmos. I am very happy with that fighter. Even though he's not an NFT fighter, in game he is an amazing player. And um yeah, oh my god, I'm getting a lot of points. This is actually crazy. Um I actually have not seen this many points in a while, to be honest. Wow. Okay. Um Yeah, well, there you guys have it. That's how you get in uh, the insane amount of points. You just gotta uh keep attacking. Um, never let your troops just stand there once they're defeated. And yeah, just have fun. All right, guys, have fun. All right, and that's how you, that's how you guys do it. I already received more, like more than half of the points I'm able to earn today. So basically, hopefully in the next, um, let's see if we can catch it. Uh, let's see here. So okay. in the next, oh, okay, let's go. In the next 45 minutes. Okay, usually that doesn't happen. All right, guys, usually that doesn't happen. Um... Who knows? Maybe I might just I might just upload another video um in the next forty five minutes just to see um whether we could complete the points and whether we can get the the personal points. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the X race ruler. All right, the race to the X race ruler. All right, guys. So we're gonna try to complete that before um the refresh happens, which is. I'm not sure when the refresh happens. Um, yeah, I'm not sure when the refresh happens, but uh, yeah, let's just um, okay, let's just end it there, and uh, I might just do a part two. All right, this is part one of the Great Train Race, and uh, we're gonna just come back whenever this unveils, cause I am gonna try to complete the thirty day limit. So yeah. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye.